installing an AGC into the Ubitex, next on Broken Signal. Thanks for subscribing and clicking the like button. The Ubitex is a great QRP rig, but it desperately needs an AGC. Even operating digital modes like FT8, someone is doing it wrong, running 100 watts and a Yagi, causing WSJTX to overload. I decided on the AGC designed by ND6T and sold at kitprojects.com. It is a popular choice and I like having the S meter out for the KD8CEC firmware. The included instructions are very detailed and make installation simple. The kit comes with the AGC board, a 10 ohm resistor for V4 and V6 versions, and a special DP3T switch. I started by removing the Ubitix board from the case. I then placed the AGC board into place so I can mark it. I then scraped the coating off the RF and 12 volt traces exposing the copper. Using a razor blade, I carefully removed a section of the RF trace. Making sure to then test the trace using a multimeter to make sure the connection is broken. Then I placed the AGC back into place and soldered to the traces. Using the 10 ohm resistor, I connected the volume to the backside of R70 and connected the S meter to pin A7 of the Raiduino. Next, I soldered the wires for the DP3T switch. Make sure to follow the instructions carefully. It is easy to connect the switch wrong. I then drilled a hole for the switch and reassembled the Ubitex. The AGC will now function, but we need to update the Raiduino's firmware for the S meter. Head over to hamskey.com, click on Ubitex Firmware CEC, and scroll down to Ubitex Manager. Download and install it. Open the Ubitex Manager. Select your COM port, 38400 baud, then click Connect. Then click Read from Ubitex. Once it pulls data from the Ubitex memory, scroll down till you see S meter. Check S meter, then click S meter Assistant. Then with my antenna disconnected, next to min value, I clicked read from Ubitex. Reconnected the antenna, tuned to a strong broadcast station, then next to max value, I clicked read from Ubitex. Then you could click different sample buttons. When done, click OK, then click write to Ubitex button. Repeat the process and tweak the settings until you feel it is adequate. Now I'll show you how it works using local broadcast stations. Slow mode. Fast mode. Off. Slow mode. Fast mode. Slow mode. Now with the AGC installed, I get no more sudden bursts from overpowered stations. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.